Samsung's insane 49-inch gaming monitor is back with its 2019 revamp, and while the exterior may be the same, the inside has seen a massive jump in tech. Not only is it a bit cheaper, still not cheap at all, but now also packs a load of new improvements over what was already a fantastic monitor in the first place. A few days ago, Samsung dropped off their beautiful 49-inch CRG90 monitor to test out. I just so happened to have the perfect device with me at the time, called the Intel Nuke, a tiny compact mini PC with some pretty impressive specs. The goal of this review, to put these two devices together and see if they could replace a console setup. As you can tell, the specs in these two pieces of hardware are pretty crazy. The Samsung CRG has some of the best display technology on the market, and the Intel Nuke has a perfect performance to create their perfect console replacement. Sure, you can plug this into any TV too, but why would you want to when you have this insane QLED monitor? First off, we had to unbox these two devices. The Samsung CRG90 was a lot easier than I thought. My QLED TV took a whole day to set up, but this QLED monitor had just one stand that you screw onto the display while it's still in the box. The monitor comes with a separate box with all the cables you need to get the best out of that display, such as DisplayPort, Power and HDMI. The Intel Nuke is fairly simple. The back of the device has all the ports on it and in the front there's a few extra slots where the USB port and power switch can be found. It comes in a nifty little box and uses an external power supply to help create a smaller device. Once I had all the cables I needed to set up the stream gaming rig, I connected them to the monitor, slid them down the back of the QLED's awesome stand that has a replaceable cover that helps hide away the wires, then plugged in a wireless mouse and keyboard into the Intel Nuke and we were ready to go. I copied a couple of games off my main PC to test out the Nuke. I was looking for games that would make full use of not only the tiny PC, but also the Samsung CRG90's full specs. This meant HDR, high frame rate, something I could play casually, and a game with 32 by 9 aspect ratio. My go-to game for this sort of stuff is usually Destiny 2, but I grabbed Battlefield 5, Overwatch, and Diablo 3 just for fun. Right off the bat, the Samsung CRG90 is a giant display that comes in a giant box. When it is sitting on your counter, it is tall and long and weighs 15 kilograms. It is 119 by 523 by 394 centimeters when connected to its stand and in an upright position. This is over a meter long and half a meter high. Pretty crazy stuff. The arm lets you move the screen up and down to almost any position you wish and it is quite versatile. The stand is a giant V stand that juts out the front and has a lot of responsibility for hanging that massive display so perfectly in the air. Once it is on a counter, you should leave it there and try not move it without picking it up too much. The underneath of the stand scratched the life out of my desk as the metal is quite hard and the impact is heavy due to the size of the display. At the back, you'll find all the ports you need to get this baby going, including the HDMI, display port, power port, which is a three-prong connector, a headphone jack, and even a USB port. The display is massive, and the curvature is also amazing. It almost feels as if it's wrapping around your head as it stretches from one point to another. As for the Intel Nuke, this little beast is tiny. It has everything you need from a high-end PC packed into a small black box with a rubber finish. When powered on, there's a cool looking skull that lights up on the top and glows as you work on it. On the back, you'll find more than enough ports to get your gaming on, and on the front, two USB ports if you ever want to plug in two controllers for some split screen gaming. I did mention this is a possible console replacement, and Couch Co op comes with the territory. Well, we know the tech specs and the design of these awesome devices, but how well do they perform? Well, each of them complement one another in one way or another. The Intel Nuke's powerful internals help bring the visuals to life on the fantastic Samsung CGR90 monitor, and the help of HDR in the 120Hz display just makes it all so much better. Compared to last year's super ultra-wide Samsung monitor, there are clear visual improvements in various areas. Sure, the last model had 144Hz, and this is only 120Hz, but who is counting when the monitor takes up a whole meter of your desk? Testing out Destiny 2, the HDR was of course perfection. The game is one of the best experiences to have in HDR, and the Samsung CGR90 did not disappoint, delivering some outstanding visuals. The game ran at around 50 to 60 FPS on the max resolution of 5120 by 1440, and the curved display felt like it wrapped around my head. We had a few issues where there were some lines appearing on the display, but we unplugged the HDMI cable and plugged it back in, and it fixed itself. 
Samsung has worked on improving the black levels of display and it is evident that it has been achieved. Colors are dark and detailed in Destiny 2 and the use of HDR truly immerses you in the world around you. It also helps that the Samsung CGR90 is so versatile. You can swing it up and down, slide the display all the way to the feet and all the way up too. It helps let you take control of your viewing pleasure without being restricted by a stiff stand. Again, the Samsung CGR monitor features AMD FreeSync, but the issue we had was with the Intel Nuke. While being an AMD machine, it does not have a large display port, only a mini display port, so we could not test it out fully. Still, the monitor ran like a dream at 60fps on most games we tested. Now for the technical side of things. The monitor lets you dual screen a lot of content thanks to it being so damn big. You can, in theory, have two windows open on each half of the display as they will appear in their natural state thanks to each of them being 16x9 and 2560x1440 each. Samsung has mashed two QHD screens into one long and pretty sleek one and working on it would be a dream for designers who need a fair amount of screen space for whatever they're working on. As for the Intel Nuke, this little machine blew me away. Maxing Destiny 2 out on the highest graphics settings did not work out too well. We hit a cap of about 20 to 30 FPS, which was not ideal. Setting it to medium then boosted this to 50 FPS, which is more than reasonable. Would you get 120 Hz maxed out at 5120 by 1440 on this machine and a Samsung monitor? Not by a long shot given the Intel Nuke's power, but it performed pretty well considering the size and resolution we were pushing on that giant monitor. The Samsung CGR90 Ultra Wide Monitor is yet another fantastic example of great engineering and innovation. The display surpasses a lot of models on the market not only in its visual fidelity but also its design and sheer versatility. Its 120Hz and massive resolution may still be a niche when it comes to gaming but to have one of these in your gaming setup is a dream come true. Yes it is expensive but you pay for what you're getting, a fantastic display that will take your gaming to the next level. As for the Intel Nuke, we did not get time to truly test it, but so far it's been a wonderful little device. You can really push it to its limits and it delivers some high-end gaming without even batting an eyelid. It could be a console replacement that you've been looking for without actually jumping on a console. But that's all we have. What do you think about these two wonderful pieces of technology? Let us know down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, farewell.